Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, we're gonna go work through a common problem which uh, you might face if you have Windows 7, especially Home Premium, and running Al Maktab al Shamil on it. Okay, this is the version of Al Maktab al Shamil which was downloaded from the link given on the actual Shamil website. Um, two gigabytes to download it opens up to about 10 gigabytes. Now, what we'll do is we'll try to open Shamila the program the application we'll see what happens okay so the program opens fine but the problem is it doesn't really work as it should do so you can see here we can press the buttons to try and open a kitab try and search inside the kitab and it doesn't work okay so basically what the problem is um, usually is that the application is a old version which doesn't work well with Windows 7 these big folders contain all the data which is the raw data of the actual kitabs this these things here some of them are the application which accesses the data and this is what they update regularly okay now to update it what we need to do is um, find uh, the update section on the website what we can do is we can for example just to make it easy for you shamila.ws and just you can type that with a space in between and uh, Google will probably find it for you yep that's the first result if we press on this inshallah the link will be in the comments in case you want to save some time upgrading to the latest version 3.48 so here it's got loads of information about what's new about this version why is it different from the old ones and then it goes through the old versions what happened in all the all versions now to cut a long story short this is how you upgrade it here atarqiyah to min al-istari thalith ila 3.48 okay um qum bi tahmili barnamaji tarqiyah min huna okay download the update file or program from here okay. so when you press this huna it will immediately start downloading what you need save file um, okay so that will save the patch or the upgrade program wherever your uh, internet browser is set to download things to so we'll let it download so if you know where it is in downloads in de on the desktop or if it asks you where to download it to you can just access it from there if not um, using Firefox or Chrome this is what you can do wait for it to finish scanning viruses Uh, if you right click there and say open containing folder it'll take you to here look, downloads or wherever it is that this is um, saved now what we need to do is we need to copy this or cut this either way we just copy it for the time being copy okay now what we need to do is we need to paste it into where into the shamila folder into the maktab do shamila folder yeah, wherever we have a Shamila here I have it on the desktop so we need to paste it inside the folder so if you right click inside the folder and then you press paste what that will do is copy that there then what you need to do is run the upgrade so if you double click on it or oh, it will inshallah run I'll ask you the publisher could not be verified do you want to run this software allow it to run now what this is doing is it's updating the al maktab to shamila program well, as you can see what it will do is update it and then open the program again you might have this here at the bottom this is a new edition i don't know what it's about Right now he says, "Hunaka kutubun jadida hal turidu tahmila hal an." Now this is what it's done is it's installed the automatic update thing. Personally, I prefer not to. Sometimes for his problems, I just press no, and inshallah now it should work. There you go. Al aqida, everything should work. Fine. Okay, one thing the video probably didn't pick up is that it asks you to allow. Um, whether you allow whether you want to give permission to the program to run obviously you need to press yes and the rest it will do itself inshallah so that's how you get past the common problem of al maktab al not working on windows 7 jazakumullah khairan
Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, this might come up sometimes. This program might not have installed correctly. If it is working, then you can ignore that and just press this program installed correctly. And then inshallah, you shouldn't have any problems in the future. Um, you can get rid of this upgrade thing if you want, as you no longer need it. And here you're left with a running Al-Maktub Bushambila, inshallah. 